Hello, my friends. We're going to start standing up. And I know that sometimes when I'm in class and your teacher says that, I'm like, really? Really? But we are. We're going to start standing up. So wide leg, easy, 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 forward fold. Any shape that you want to take with the arms, any amount of bend in the knees or whatever you might need here, do it. I'm Maeve. I'm very happy you're here. And then if it feels okay, just kind of rock your weight forward and back, toes and heels. your next inhale lengthen your spine turn the toes a little open just a little side to side here these blocks here if it's helpful for you I'm not going in super deep keeping my hands in front of me so I really can't go super super deep because I'm a little restricted with the hands where they are Back to center, square off your feet, bring your hands onto your hips, and then rise to stand. Nice. Right leg, warrior two. Nice, nice, nice. We haven't done much, you know this. Let it be kind of easy. Let it be a lot easy, actually. Like, pretty easeful in the legs, the arms, the spine. but the even amount of work and the even amount of ease throughout the body. Inhale, straighten the right leg, reach up. Exhale, drop it. Inhale, exhale, drop it. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last time. Inhale. And exhale. Now maybe a bit deeper than you were before. Maybe a little bit more work, but still. Equal work, equal ease throughout the body. Inhale, rise up, bring your hands through center, and then let's just change our legs. So left side, warrior two, quite easy, quite easy. Pretty light. Inhale, lift, exhale, drop. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale. And we'll stay about five breaths here. Now, maybe a little deeper. Be a little more strength in the arms and legs. Maybe a little more reach through the fingers and expansion across the chest. One more inhale. This time, come around, hands at the top of your mat, step back to plank. Breath in, lower to your belly however you need to. Inhale, Shalabhasana. We're here a few breaths. Down dog, exhale.
right leg back, inhale. Right foot forward, exhale. Left knee down. Anjaneyasana, inhale. Point the toes back. Mm -hmm. Good. If it feels okay, you're gonna press into your back foot, press into your front foot, and then just pick up that left knee. Put pressing down, yes. Beautiful. Carefully knee back down. Straighten the front leg, Ardha Hanumanasana. Yes. Bend the front leg, take the hands forward. Blocks are wonderful here. Pick up the back leg and standing splits. Inhale, lengthen your spine forward. Really nice. Hands into your heart, warrior three. And then press your hands back, lift up your left knee. Broaden across the chest. Lace your fingers behind your hips. Really, really well done, beautiful. Inhale, reach up, step the feet a little wider than your hips, Malasana, exhale. Breath in, hands to the ground, exhale. Inhale, lengthen, plank, exhale. Breath in to your belly, however you want to come down. So I'm giving you like a really modified version, knees, hips, blah, blah, blah. And then Shalabhasana. Down dog. Check in breath, body, mind. Left leg back, inhale. Left foot forward, exhale, right knee down. Release the toes, point them back. Anjaneyasana. Right hip is engaging, beautiful. And then if it's okay, press into that right foot, lift the right knee up. If it's not okay, don't do it. It's that simple. You'll know. Carefully knee back down, straighten the front leg, shift back, Ardha Hanumanasana. Really well done. Good, bend the front leg, reach forward, standing splits, take off. Lengthen forward, warrior three. Press your hands back, pick up that right knee, broaden across the chest and then lace the fingers. Release the fingers, step the feet wide, malasana. Well done. Yes, yes. One more inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Rise to stand, inhale. And hands to your heart, exhale. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, halfway. Right foot steps to the back of your mat. Inhale. Crescent lunge. Exhale, hands to the ground. Three-legged dog, left leg to the sky. If it's nice, open up your hip and bend your knee. And then bring your left knee over to your right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Right, I'm sorry, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, back. Step your left foot forward. 
top of your mat, Skandasana. Sit into your left hip, beautiful. Whatever you wanna do with your arms is good for me. Dig the right heel down, wake up the back of that right leg. Maybe spread the toes a little, you can point the foot, you can flex the foot. Wake up your foot, your ankle, yes, beautiful. Mm-hmm. Good. Your right hand is gonna come around to the top of your mat. You're gonna pivot all the way to the pinky side of your right foot. All your toes turn to the left, sink the hip down. Press, lift up, straighten both legs. Blocks are great here. And then we're gonna do that again. You're gonna drop, 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 drop. Right hip toward the floor. All your toes turn to the left. And then push up and around. Again, drop, 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 drop. Up and around. Two more times. One more. Step to the top of your mat. Halfway up, inhale. Bow, exhale. Rise, inhale. Elbows wide like a cactus with the heart. Inhale, reach up. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway, inhale. Left foot steps back, exhale. Crescent lunge, inhale, beautiful. Hands to the ground. Your right leg is gonna go to the sky, so your front leg goes to the sky, three-legged dog. If it's nice, open up your hips, bend the knee, pull the foot toward the hips. Lift that left shoulder. Inhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Right knee, right elbow. Inhale, back. Right foot, top of the mat. You're sitting into your right hip, so sit to the top of your mat, Skandasana. Around, left hand goes toward the top of your mat. Pivot all the way to the pinky side of the left foot. Let the hips sink. All your toes turn to the right. Ah, and then push. Bring the right hand around. Straighten both legs. If you need blocks here, please get them. You don't have to straighten the legs all the way. Come back to around. But you're activating as if you could. So you're pushing, pushing, pushing. Yes, let's go again. Three more. One more. Soften the front knee, step to the top of your mat. Halfway inhale. Bow, exhale. Rise up, inhale. Hands to your heart. Exhale. Little pause and breathe. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bow. Halfway, inhale. Right foot back, exhale. Crescent, inhale. Exhale, hands to the ground. Left leg sweeps back, three-legged dog. Option for wild thing if you like it. Or you could do Vashistasana in its place. Inhale, come back around. And then left knee, right elbow. Maybe extend the leg, maybe lift the hand up. Whoo! Yes. Inhale, three-legged dog. 
Exhale, left foot top of the mat. Skandasana for a beat, inhale. Right hand reaches for the front of the mat. Pivot onto the pinky side of the right foot. Turn the toes and sink. Lift up, come around. Straighten the legs as much as you can. And then soften the front knee, half moon. Bring it up. Really good. One more inhale. Bend your standing leg. Bring this right leg around. You can use two blocks if you want. Jiva squat. We're going to really drop low here. And then standing splits. And then drop. And lift. Drop again. Lift up. Two more. One more. We're going to hold our standing split. If you would rather, you can take this opportunity to lift for handstand. And chair. Inhale. Press to stand. Elbows wide. Lift your heart. Inhale. Reach up. Bow forward. So good. Halfway inhale. Left foot to the back of your mat. Crescent lunge. Inhale. Exhale, hands down. Right leg to the sky. Three-legged dog. Open the hips. Bend the knee if it's nice. Flip to wild thing if you like. Or you could take Vashi Stasana instead. Really, really well done. Come around, inhale. Right knee over to your left elbow. Fall in triangle or just float that leg. Three-legged dog, inhale. Right foot forward, exhale. Skandasana. Left hand reaches forward. Pivot the feet. Sink. Lift up. Both legs straighten. Soften the front knee. Ardha Chandrasana. One more inhale. Soften your standing leg, Jiva squat. You can use two blocks if you want. And then press away, standing splits. Drop down. And then lift up. So good. Drop down. Expand. Last one, Jiva. And standing splits. Stay in standing splits or maybe handstand. <laughs> Every day is a maybe for me with handstand. <laughs> it's like some days I can just get up and other days it's like, uh, uh. it's like there's lead tied to my legs. Chair, inhale. Ay, ay, ay. And then we're going to sink down. And we're going to lie down. Up and us and knees into your chest. You probably thought we were going to go into boat pose because that's what I usually do there. But I like to try to not be so predictable. Okay, feet to the ground. Arms at your sides, palms to the sky. Open the fronts of the shoulders. Try to draw the sides of the shoulders back. 
under your body a bit. And right away when you do that, any amount, there's a sense of the chest opening, like your heart could just burst out of your chest. Press your feet down, rise up. Bridge. Outer shins gently press inward. Press into the big toes, lengthen the toes forward, press the heels down and draw the heels toward your shoulders. down. Extend the legs out. Curl the shoulders up. Keep the arms at your side. Press the backs of the hands down. Mm -hmm. Navasana. Lift up. Lower down. Bend your knees, head down. Broaden across the chest. Maybe this time in bridge, lace the fingers behind the hips. There's no need to do so. It's only if it serves you and adds to the pose. And outer shins gently in, so outer calves press in gently. Release down, arms at your side, palms up, extend the legs out, curl the shoulders up, push the backs of the hands down. Navasana, lift up, really, really nice. Cross your shins, downward facing dog. Well done. If you want to go through Chaturanga Vinyasa, go for it. Inhale, right leg back. Keep your left heel heavy. Knee down the center, place your right foot forward. Back knee down, release the toes. Just like we started, Anjaneyasana, rise up. If it's okay, press into the back. Top of foot, lift up. Good, tip your torso forward. Ooh, reach the arms back. Pull, pull, pull. The whole point here is I want you to feel that pull, pull, pull from that front leg, from that hip, that heel, come into warrior three. Good, draw the knee up. Right arm is in a cross, or you can like hug yourself, you can come here, you can have your forearms together. Eagle. Don't overthink it. the arms if you can unravel the legs step your left foot back take your left arm to the outside so you've got eagle arms in this twist mm -hmm. of course if it doesn't feel good let it go and then you're either going to bring the palms together or if you want you can expand the arms out and that's not for everybody and when I say it's not for everybody it's a it's a it's like a taste is not for everyone. I don't mean it's not for everyone because you've been excluded. It's not a club to join. It's a taste to either acquire or like, no, I don't like green olives. I do, I actually really love green olives. You know what I mean? One more inhale. Release the hands down. Blocks are wonderful. Straighten both legs. Draw the heart forward.
I, I believe that when we have convictions in our choices and we're unapologetic for them, then it's less of a, like I think sometimes we think we're making like consolations. We're not like, if, you, if I don't eat lamb, I don't apologize for it. I don't eat lamb, it's fine. I mean, it's actually quite a few things I don't eat, but I don't apologize for it because I don't like it. But the same thing goes in your practice here. If there's certain things, it's not ex exclusionary. Like when I'm saying, if you want to do a handstand, do it. It's not, a, it's not a special club to belong to, by the by. Make a thoughtful choice and then just like that's my choice. That's all. One more breath in. Soften the front knee, left hand comes down. Vashistasana. So I have not yet cued you through Chaturanga. Is that crazy? We haven't done a single like Chaturanga by my call. If you did it, it was on your own. So this next one is still going to be optional. You can just go through center of down dog or lower to your belly. Or if you want, Chaturanga. Rise up. Down dog. Smooth the breath. Inhale, left leg stretches back. Stay heavy in the right heel. Knee down the center, left foot comes forward. Right knee down, release the toes back. Inhale, Anjaneyasana. If you want, pick up the back knee, press into the foot. So we're teaching this front leg to kind of pull us forward, tip forward. Ooh, rise up. See how much I even pulled my mat up? Come up. And then rise up, right knee comes up. And then left arm on top, if you like, eagle or your version of that. I might have forgotten something in there, but we'll be okay if I did. And I just had to fall over into the wall after I turned to look at you. And I'll be okay with that too. So if the arms feel good, you're going to keep them. We're going to unravel the legs. We're going to step the right foot back. And then twisting this. And then maybe the palms come together and you enjoy the twist there. You can stay here also. Or maybe you open the arms up. By the way, I have apologized in the past for not eating lamb, which I won't do anymore. But I'll go to someone's house and they're serving lamb. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't eat lamb. Or to the waiter, I'm sorry, I don't eat lamb. Why should I be sorry? I'm not sorry. Damn it. Release it. Straighten the front leg. Pull the spine forward. I almost skipped this, by the way. Really nice. Vashistasana. Through center, your pathway to down a dog. Knees 
knees to the ground. Right leg extends straight out to the right side. Press into your right hand. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale through. Maybe take the foot, maybe not. up take the left arm forward sweep the right leg back stay here or reach back find your foot kick away reopen left hand down left toes tuck three-legged dog Pigeon, draw the right leg forward. If you need an alternative, take it. here you don't have to just be stationary you can be though sometimes I just want to get here and just be like quiet and still other times I feel like I need to kind of explore where my body needs to be and I think that that can be um, like if you're if you get into a pose and you feel real fidgety maybe you're not in the right spot for that day doesn't mean every day but maybe for that day you're not in the right spot you also might just be fidgety and that's okay. We're just watching ourselves. We're watching what we do, how we do, when we do, the things we do. Come back to center and tuck the left toes. Hold plank, please. Knees gently down. I'm gonna flip because otherwise I'm gonna kick the wall. Left leg straight out to the side. And then a right leg stretch, uh, right arm stretches up, right leg. And then thread through. Maybe take the foot, maybe not. hand back by your face press come back up take your right arm forward your left leg back stay here or bend the back leg catch the foot and press it open back up hand down leg stays up tuck the right toes three-legged dog inhale and pigeon on this side. Fresh eyes, don't assume anything just because you saw it on the other side. This is like the beautiful thing of when we do something on one side is our brain learns by mirroring. And so we're like, I know this, I got this. But there's the factor of, you might not be the same on both sides. So while you do have more intelligence going into the second side about what you're doing, what you might expect, 
there's a great possibility that won't be the same. From side to side, from day to day, week to week, etc. So fresh eyes. That's what we call being present. Good, hands under your shoulders. Tuck your back toes, plank, please. Good, bend your knees, stretch your hips back. Continue looking toward your hands, bring your feet to your hands. Halfway, inhale, fold, exhale. Bend your knees. It down. Right leg extends out, left foot comes to your inner right leg. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, come forward, Janusharsasana. And you don't actually have to come forward. If you feel happier here, be here. And I want as much as you can, I want for myself, I don't like it when I say what I want you to do, but sometimes it slips out. I'd ask you to notice the connection between your right hip specifically and your upper back, your heart. Well, let's think of it as your heart. So if my heart's going forward and my hip doesn't shift with it, I'm gonna be like this, okay? So as much as you can, you're shifting this hip forward and so the heart follows what the hip dictates and then you come forward. Now with that said, that's not simple. I am aware of that. Sometimes you actually have to kind of like figure out how to do that. If you're finding that's not happening and you're getting here and you're just feeling like you're like hitting a wall, be here. It's great, it's wonderful. Or maybe be here. Anywhere along that, that pathway is wonderful. Looking for the length of the spine. Really nice lengthen. If you want, bring this right leg up with you. <laughs> and then extend it. You can also come up, grab the leg, be happy. The leg does not need to be straight. Good. Right arm inside the right leg, bend the knee like a half happy baby. This is awesome. This does not need to change. Option to bring the shoulder inside, your right hand comes down. My right elbow is going to come into my hamstring. I'm going to take my left foot in front. I'm going to rock up, squeeze, Ashtavakrasana, think Chaturanga arms. Come back and then release. Left leg out, right foot in. Bunch of nonsense. It's not a special club, it's just a pose. All right, inhale. See if you can get that hip to kind of move to take the heart forward. Any amount.
good lengthen up maybe bring this leg up with you or come up and then find the leg and the leg does not need to be straight really nice think half happy baby left hand to the inside hold there the next part not a big deal if you don't want to do it bring the shoulder inside right foot comes in front I'm just gonna turn so you can get a different view squeeze legs squeeze together come back around soles of the feet actually I'll just stay toward you soles of the feet come together nice work inhale exhale any mount forward now this is an interesting position. This versus this. So Janu for Shirshasana with one leg straight, asking a lot of the back of that leg, as opposed to Baddha Konasana, both thighs externally rotated. One is not necessarily easier than the other. It's all based on your body. But in this position, the way the hips move is a little bit different because the placement of the thigh bone is different. When you've come forward as much as you can, I want you to just soften. And just notice that. Notice if one side, for me, just naturally, my left side drops open much easier. My right side's a little tighter here, but then if I engage my feet to the floor, my feet together, I can, without my arms, I can press that right knee down a little more. So don't just accept like that, like um, first entry point, right? You get there, you're like, what do I feel? And then you're like, okay, I might take this a little deeper. I might not. But sometimes there's more available to us if we pause, connect to the foundation, to the supporting muscles, to the breath. Let go of expectation and just kind of see where you go. Inhale, rise up. Draw the knees up. And then roll back with your knees and your chest up and asana. Such nice work today, everyone. It's easy to think that you haven't done enough and that there's, of course, something else that you want to do. You can pause me and do that now. Or you might just say, you know what, I've done enough today. If you need a twist, drop the knees to the right. Left arm to the left. If you don't need it, skip it. Come to center. And then the twist goes the other way. And then back to center. And find your finish. You might be seated, maybe legs up the wall. Just lie down, Shavasana. Allow your breath to quiet, to still. kindest, gentlest way possible. Encourage the thoughts that you don't need to just take a little drop back.
Please stay as long as you'd like. If you're ready, reach the arms overhead. Bend your knees and roll to your side. From your side, press into your left. I'm sorry, push into your top hand. I didn't tell you which side to roll to, so push into your hands and rise up. However you want to get there, it doesn't matter. Take a comfortable seat. Let your hands rest on your thighs. Draw the spine long. Feel how you feel. The only exclusive club around this practice is the one that you have with yourself. This experience of being with yourself in your body, in your mind, in your breath. Your feelings that is the most exclusive club it's personal it's just for you we share it together because we practice together and isn't that amazing that we have this thing that we're doing uh, solo that we do together bring your hands into prayer at your heart and bow your mind to your heart rise up thank you for your practice